go. Go. So this is Fong Fung, Saposhnikovia divericata. Used to have uh, another name, Letaburiella, I think it was the name then, Cecilloides. And um, this plant's a perennial, and it grows in northeastern China, probably middle China too, I think, to some degree, but particularly northeastern, northwestern China. And so it's cold hardy, and um, you generally propagate this through seeds. Um, you don't want to plant them very deep. Like a lot of umbellifera, you plant the seeds rather shallow because they're typically light-dependent germinators. And um, likes good drainage, and you can see these roots on here, they kind of grew in odd angles because the soil was kind of hard, and so you want to make sure if you're going to grow a root medicine like this that you use kind of a more sandy soil and um, make sure you take out the rocks and obstructions in the soil. And uh, Fong Fong is a warming herb. It's a herb, this warm acrid herb to release the exterior. Um, and we use the root as the medicine. And of course it's used for treating wind cold patterns. But um, it's also great for any kind of internal wind, it's used for tremors and spasms. Um, it's also used for harmonizing the wood and the earth. It's one of those herbs that's used for that. So it's good for helping actually because it's so good for wind. Uh, in combination with harmonizing wood and earth, it can be used for a lot of problems where the liver is attacking the digestive system for colitis and irritable bowel. And uh, yeah. That's uh, a lot of it. It's used. I also use it with combination with Jingjie schizonepida for sinus congestion, nasal congestion. Um, it's mildly to moderately drying, um, but it's not as drying as, let's say, Song Ertz, uh, at least in my opinion, it isn't. And um, so I like using it maybe when there's more dryness present and just swelling and congestion. Like I said, in combination with Jingjie, maybe Xinyiwa, also Magnolia uh, flower. Yeah, just some, just some rock. Okay. Well, let's put it in the ground. 